We're in the refresh 2024 Honda Passport. This will be like a two part video for you guys. Oh, this is a heavy hood. Uh, because I cannot share driving impressions of this refresh model and this trail sport trim until December 19th. However, we still have the three and a half liter V6, 280 horsepower, nine speed automatic, all wheel drive standard. They all come with the super handling all wheel drive and the Acura lineup and the Honda lineup is called IVTM4. Uh, we can send a lot of torque to those rear wheels and to the appropriate side as well. So great torque vectoring here, standard, even on the base grade. So there are three grades to the Passport, the EXL, the mid grade, the Trail Sport, and the top of line black edition. Uh, they start around $43,000 uh, for the base grade, this one in the mid 40s, and the top grade getting close to that $50,000 price point. So we got revised styling for 2020. Four. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks a little bit more bulldogish, a little bit tougher, a little bit more rugged all at the same time. Now, this has an upgraded suspension on the Trail Sport for off road purposes. And we see these general grabber tires here, these 18 inch wheels uh, here on this Trail Sport as well, 245 by 60 with the gray finish. We have glossy black mirrors, matte black window surround, and then kind of the same gray finish on the roof rails. You do not get the roof rails on the base EXL grade that I know of. Now I wanted to talk about the lights real quick. We do have LED lights. We do have LED uh, daytime running lights. However, the turn signals are incandescent bulbs. We do have LEDs for the fog lamps down below. It definitely feels like a larger SUV. It feels like a cropped Honda Pilot and that's kind of what it is and it's also shares a lot with the ridgeline as well think of it as an suv version of the ridgeline you got the trail sport badge back here the passport blacked out the black glossy bar across the back we got really fat exhaust tips they look like they're taken out of uh, the acura rdx get in the back this is where the passport excels check out this space back here for your belongings uh, and you also have buttons that will fold down the rear seats and you can also fold it down 60 40 uh, with the other button over here we have a power outlet back here 180 watt max with a 12 volt underfloor storage yes we have a little bit right here if i pull this up even further we have a spare tire gotta love that feature honda keeping the spare tire here in the the updated passport uh, and getting into the back took my kids to school these doors close very well. This is built at the, uh, I believe it's the Lincoln, Alabama plant. Uh, we have rear sunshades for the passengers, nice large windows for them back here. I like putting my drink here while I help my kids get in the car. Since it's a trail sport, we have orange trimmings throughout the cabin, matte pockets, soft back to the seats as well. Vents for the passengers rear back here, two USB C's as well as an additional household plug in, household outlet of 150 watts. So you can bring even a higher capacity charger, or if you want to charge a, a tablet or a laptop back here, you can do that too. So get in the back seat. I'm going to sit in the middle. Tons of leg room. I can feel the heat coming through. Yeah, actually, we have heat here in uh, South Florida this time of year. Even for the passengers in the rear, it doesn't matter how tall you are, you're probably gonna have enough headspace. Get into the front seat. We do have memory seats here on uh, this Trail Sport grade. No cup holders over here, just a bunch of storage. Interesting, we don't have any cup holders, but I'm sure you could slide a, uh, a bottle over there. We do have power folding mirrors, like that feature here on a mid-grade model. Typically, you see those on higher models or luxury grades. Uh, and we do have this nice heated steering wheel with the orange trail sport feels great to the hand and even uh, the base trim the EXL has a leather wrap steering wheel heated steering wheel does heat all the way around uh, we have turn signals what am I doing there's no getting around the orange trail sport logo here on the headrest and let's get into the cabin closing the door the memory oh did you hear that that is a fantastic door slam the steering wheel isn't memory, uh, but the seat and the mirrors are. Um, lots of safety features in here. Radar cruise control, lane keep assist, all that good stuff, blind spot monitor. This has a seven speaker system um, and the top of the line model, the black edition comes with a 10 speaker system. I believe all models come with the sunroof, so that's pretty cool. Sunglasses holder while I'm up there, you know, maybe the upper trims have a cabin mirror here as well. But we have this really tiny screen um, for the size of a vehicle. And my Android Auto is wired. I don't believe it's wireless here because I think this is running maybe slightly older software for Honda. I can't split my Android Auto in half typically. You know, I can put my uh, Amazon Music on one side and my Google Maps on the other, but 
that's not really happening uh, with this small of a screen. Now, the screen is kind of facing, if someone's head was like right here, that's where the screen's facing. So it's kind of facing this direction. It is pretty glossy. You guys might be able to see that reflection going on. It's uh, sometimes not the easiest to see, but it is bright and it is pretty high definition despite it being on the smaller end. Um, down here, like the physical buttons for fan control, uh, for automatic climate control, temperature control. I don't have to go through menus or, or into the touchscreen area to adjust the climate control, so I really like that. And also, I can control the rear climate. So I have triple climate control, even though the rear passengers don't have access to these controls. Um, I can adjust these settings from up here, which is great. Uh, heated th seats up here, three different settings. We have some space right here uh, for your belongings. And then there's enough space down here now for two phones. We have a wireless charger, which may be standard across all grades. I'm trying to remember. You also have a 12 volt in here, USB-C and a USB-A. Two cup holders up front. The traditional, well, it's should traditional for Honda large platform vehicles at this point to have a push button system. No traditional shifter here, but it does kind of clear this up. Um, so it does have its benefits, even though I'm old school and I like having a traditional shifter. Tons of, tons of space in here, no light or anything, but at least there's a rubber gasket on the bottom to help things from bouncing around. Really basic screen behind the steering wheel. It is your only, uh, this is your only screen that I'm aware of. There's no customization even with these buttons uh, up here. I can press enter to change the fuel economy stuff, but that's really about it. Now, I just got this model, only has 164 miles, and I will be one of the first people to rack up some miles on this. This is fresh off the press down in Alabama. I do have paddle shifters to row through that nine speed ZF transmission here. I can't talk about driving impressions again until uh, the 19th. But let me know what you guys think of the refreshed Honda Passport with the Trail Sport trim. Let me know which trim level you'd be going for. And I'll talk a little bit more about the trim levels in my full on driving impressions in just a few days from now. So stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next vehicle, walk around and video review.